powerful and continuing nationalism that is searing into our national fabric. Citizens are being torn out of their homes and being called illegal immigrants. People who have lived in this country for 50 years are having to show a piece of paper that to prove that they are Indian. In a country where ministers cannot produce degrees to show that they graduated from college, you expect dispossessed poor people to show papers to show that they belong to this country. There has been a tenfold increase in the number of hate crimes between 2014 and 19. 10x. It is like a valuation of an e-commerce startup, sir. There are forces in this country that are sitting there just pushing this number up. The lynching of citizens in broad daylight is being, uh, is being condoned. From Pehlu Khan in Rajasthan last year to Mr. Ansari in Jharkhand yesterday, the list is not stopping. Five of the largest news media organizations in India are today either indirectly controlled or indirectly debted to one man in this country. TV channels spread a majority of airtime broadcasting propaganda for the ruling party. Coverage of every opposition party is cut out. Let the government come out with facts and figures to show ad spend per media house. What are they spending the money on and which media house are they blocking out? Fake news is the norm. This election was not fought on government on farmer distress. This election was not fought on unemployment. This election was fought on WhatsApp, on fake news, on manipulating minds. There is an obsession with national security and the identification of enemies. When we were children, my mother would say, do this, do that, Kala Bhut will come. It is as though all of us in this country are today in fear of some nameless, shameless Kala Bhut. The achievements of the army are being usurped by in the name of one man. Is this correct? The irony is that in the last five years, terrorist attacks have gone up minifold. There has been a 106% uh, increase in the death of Jawans in Kashmir. With the NRC and the Citizenship Amendment Bill, we are making sure it is only one community that is the target of anti-immigration laws. Members of Parliament today are more interested in the fate of 2.77 acres of land than in the 812 million acres of the rest of India. This is no testament. साथ साथ एकर जन्म भूमि के मुद्दा नहीं है ये सारा देश 80 करोड़ एकर को अखंड रखने का प्रश्न है There is a complete disdain for intellectuals and the arts there is a suppression of all dissent everything we are doing is pushing india back to the dark ages secondary school textbooks She's going are to being manipulated She's going to and distorted everyone. in order to indoctrinate i ask you one thing you don't even tolerate questioning, let alone dissent. There is an erosion of independence in our electoral system. The election commission is being used to transfer key officials. 60,000 crores were spent on this election, 50% by one party, 27,000 crores. In 2017, the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum put up a poster in its main lobby and it contained a list of all the signs of early fascism. Each of the seven signs that I have pointed to you feature on that poster.